Daddy, would you like some sausage? Welcome to Stupid Movies, episode 145. Where we watch them so you don't have to. And in many cases of late, you should watch them. Yeah, you should have. You, you know. Yeah. Um, and, you know, disclaimer, I suppose. I thought of this the other day. Our name, Stupid Movies. Uh -huh. Whereas maybe when we started, it was kind of more about the movies. Yeah. But I, I think it's probably more about us. Stupid. Are you saying more movies? No, 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 no. The, the stupid part of our name. I don't understand. <laughs> This week uh, is our first movie of 2019. Woo! Yeah, we're going strong. Get ready for stupid. I have an erection. Um, and this week we watched uh, an indie movie. We're going to go full on with this uh, support indie again. Hell yeah. Week. And we're going to start out with a bang with Slaughter Drive. Yes. Wait a minute. Is Slaughter Drive? What do you think it was? So Laughter Drive. So Laughter Drive. Uh. Slaughter Drive. Directed by Ben Deedles. What? Yeah. Who we've talked about on the show before. Yeah, he's a, a fan of ours. Uh, we're a fan of his. Day. We're a fan of his as well. Um, so we did his movie, Slaughter Drive, starring Ben Deedles. Yeah. Ryan Linter. Blake O'Donnell. I liked him. These guys are great. Oh, dude, is running. Oh, I don't know God. if, if he ran jizz on my glasses. Oh, man. It must oh. have been from the jizz pie. Oh, the jizz pie. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, 2017. Uh-huh. Not rated. Um, and 102 minutes long. Yep. So, what what the move? What's the movie about? Adam? You're good at explaining this stuff. Okay. So, there's these three friends, a filmmaker and two teachers. Oh, that's really loud. <laughs> <laughs> you just blew our audio. You have to do the rest of the show like that. Now. <laughs> so there's these three friends, uh, filmmaker and two teachers. <laughs> right, <laughs> which I love that aspect of. Um, <clears throat> did you ever see the Burbs? Oh yeah, the Burbs with Tom Hanks. Yeah. yeah okay. Bet. Did you ever see Goonies? <laughs> so if those two got together and and poked the penis, this movie is what would come out of it. Okay, I could see that. Um, it's basically it's a not a murder mystery necessarily. Oh. They think one of the neighbors is a serial killer. They know one of the neighbors is a serial killer, and it's just trying to prove it and survive and not die. Kind of summer of eighty four esque. Kind a of, yeah. Bit, you know, kind of that concept. Which yeah, I, I love that concept. It was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's kind of what it is. So you know, that's uh, definitely what it. That's, that's exactly exa what it is. <laughs> it is exactly what we just described. That's <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's what the synopsis is. That for. is the synopsis. Yep. So, man, what do we like about this movie? I, I let me. You can start it. I'm gonna just please. start it. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna after you. <laughs> <laughs> where's my car, dude? Go ahead, dude. Where's my car? <laughs> um, <laughs> I like this movie. I, I do. I love it. Uh, I'm just gonna start with that because I do. Um, yeah. That's a very indie movie. No, this movie. I, I love the characters in this movie. Yes. I thought it was well written. I, I thought, you know, Ben did a good job with. I, I, the fact that they, you can tell they're having fun, and that they're prob they're really friends. Yeah, that you could see that, and I love that. It better. came across that they were having a blast filming, this. and it comes out in these characters. Yep. It's almost like they they were just playing themselves, almost maybe, and just at a different. I kind of wonder. Yeah, I do too. how much that was them. Yeah, it was really funny too. Like the, it was the lines that they came out with was just super. Fucking yeah. funny. The dialogue in this, it's it's it's, it's silly, it's corny, <laughs> and immature probably at times. But I love that. It sounded like us. It did. I it mean it really, really did. It, if we were to make a movie, I feel like this it would have been similar. This is to the movie we would make. Right. Which is awesome. Yeah. You know. Uh, but they were hilarious, you know. Ben Deedles was the uh, lead. Yep. And then Ryan Leonard and Blake O'Donnell were the two sidekicks. Yep. You know, the teachers who once summer hit, they're just they just want to drink and have fun and yeah. have kids. And it's hilarious. Although I do have to point out a filmmaker playing a filmmaker in a movie. That's so original. <laughs> right. Uh, you know, one thing, <coughs> within probably, what, the first ten minutes, yeah. Adam, uh, there was boobs. <laughs> I like it. There were front-loaded boobs. Yeah. And you see a butt. And yeah. Like, There's a nice butt, too. Right. There were nice boobs, too. Yeah. 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 I wish that hadn't been the only time because usually you get boobs at early in the movie you're like all right there's uh, gonna be more of this but that was it that was the only one but kind of with that too you see the guy kind of cranking himself 
Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. I mean, you don't see it. See, you no, see under, under a sheet. The, you yeah. see like the sheet going like right. that. And I thought that was hilarious. It was. You know, it's funny. It was, While he's out there talking, he was like he was fluffing himself. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Fluffing <laughs> himself. And this was his uh, ex-wife. He comes home and sees. Uh, no. No. Soon to be oh, soon to ex-wife. Be. Yeah. They that were was, still married. What a crappy situation, man. Ben, you handled that really well. <laughs> I would not have done that. Well, I think he, you know, he's an actor. I like the simple story. It's just a yeah. basic, you know, slasher. Um, it, that's what we like about him. Yeah. You don't need all this stuff. It's Ooh. comfortable. Yeah, it's comfortable. Yeah. yeah. It's our ground and we like that. It, it's kind of like those pair of pajama pants that you have that, you know, there's a couple holes in them, like part of your ass cheek hangs out oh, because like, of the hole. Yeah, like those. <laughs> Um, they're very comfortable. Yeah, I, I like that. Even so with I, the problems. Right. Yep. I will never, uh, uh, the, the pube showed up again. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> I, I will never complain about I that. told you to Simple. stay in my pants. <laughs> I will never dislike it. Jeez. Uh, the simple story, the basic. Yeah. I love that. It works. The gore effects in this movie, man, yes. They look great. For the uh, budget they had to be on? I wish I would have remembered who did the gore effects because they, they had it in the credits, but I don't Yeah. Know. But that guy did a great job. Yeah. The melting uh, melting guy at the yeah, end. That was spoilers, awesome. but fuck you. You're going to watch it anyway. Yeah, you better. Yeah. Um, there there were some of... really good kills. So not, like, nothing I would say is inventive. No, no. But I mean, it's basic, simple but standbys. Simple. They work. The classics. And they look good. Uh, the music to this was really cool. Man, the score. I love that. That's mm. one of my favorite things. It's like a almost throwback '80s type score a yeah. little bit, which I love. Super synth, the do, 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 do. and some oh. weird noise things. I yeah, that was great, man. I love that score can make a movie, and that definitely helped. That helped, man. Yeah. Um, and to go with that, um, uh, uh, that says atmosphere. Thank you. Yeah, it's the atmosphere. Along with that, the atmosphere is pretty good. Yeah, um, and the absolutely. way it was shot felt like a. Uh, I don't know if I called a throwback, per se, because no. it didn't look like an 80s, but it had that stuff that would feel like... This felt like it could have come out in the 80s. Right, yeah. Not visually, but just the vibe. The vibe the of it, the feeling of it. of it. I'm trying to figure out how to not make this a backhanded compliment. <laughs> they overacted so much, but it was intentional. I think so. I hope. I, well, yeah, I would imagine. And it was hilarious. It was great. I love it. I love. I feel like I'm right on top of you. That's you can sit on me all you want. Oh, I think I'm touching a penis. <laughs> oh man, am I not sure? If, if my wing goes down to my knee, <laughs> that is news to me. <laughs> that rhymed. Oh, my first rhyme of 2019. Is it? Probably not. If we're wrong about that, if you were not having fun, I'm sorry, but it looked like you were. If, if you guys weren't overacting, then you probably should study acting a little bit. If you were overacting on purpose, then good on you. <laughs> yeah, no, it was great. Either way, I loved it. I thought it was hilarious. It was fun. And the dialogue with it. One of my favorite lines from the movie is uh, crybaby pussy pants. Yeah. That was He's hilarious. He's being crybaby pussy pants. Yeah. It's hilarious. <laughs> and then he pulls a plate of breakfast out out of nowhere and says, Here, I made breakfast yeah. for you. <laughs> That's great. That is one thing. I even pointed that out. This movie was a bit obsessed with breakfast because there were <laughs> multiple <laughs> scenes yeah. of preparing. And or serving breakfast. Yeah. The fuck, man? <laughs> There's a cameo uh, from Steve Radzinski who directed Carousel. Which was great because in Carousel, there was a cameo from Ben Needles. <laughs> who directed Slaughter Drive. <laughs> um, You're an idiot. Thank you. And this just drives me insane because it's like, I, fuck you. You can tell that they're fans of the genre. Yes. And that they're making it for the fans of the genre. They're doing it for fun, man. This is the best damn genre in the world to work in. You should be thankful for the fans you have. That's right. And I get a feeling that these guys are. What What do we dislike now? I'm, I'm going to preface this by saying pretty much everything that we disliked was more of nitpick stuff that comes with the budget and the indie aspect yeah. of it. You know, and that's, it's not, I, I don't want to say it's a dislike per se. I, I mean, it is, but it, it's room stuff that for, could be. Let's say room for improvement. Room for improvement. Yeah. Biggest thing, and we noticed this right off the front. Yeah. There's some sound clipping issues where the volume goes really high. Um, some clip, yeah, and it's, 
it's noticeable and it can get a yeah. little distracting. But I noticed it more at the beginning of the movie than yeah. I did like in the back two thirds. Right. That front third was where most of it most was of that at. Scene. A little bit of lighting stuff in a few scenes. Overall, overall the lighting was pretty good. Pretty good, but there's but a few there times. There were one or two. Yeah. Not uh, a, not a big thing where where the lighting was a little off. It's like I, I can't see the action or right. or, or what's going on here. And the biggest thing I think, and and I didn't notice this so much the first time I watched it. Maybe it was because it's early morning. And we haven't had coffee, but it did feel a little too long. An hour forty is a long. That, ass that's morning. a long. You know, an hour twenty is really the butter zone. 80 to 90 minutes for me is my ideal. Uh, One thing that kind of hit me, and I remember I was talking to you about it during the movie. I brought this up. They had too many climaxes in the movie. They're not like, uh, yeah, uh, too many of those too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a dude had half a jar full of jizz. Oh yeah, that's a lot. How did we not mention that yet? <laughs> yeah, the guy jerked off for three months straight into a jar. We're not then... talking about like a little mason jar either. It was a big yeah. ass jar, and they put it in a pie thing and put whipped cream on it and then <laughs> put it in the sink. Ew, that was gross. Ew, that's uh, nasty. I liked it. And she what? Dude, that is awfully white. Yeah. That is white. It's like pearly white. That is like coddled milk. Right. Or something. You, I'm like, You Whoa. should see a doctor about that. That's, I don't know if yeah. that's... Um, no, it... So they had the, the, what I would have considered the climax of the movie. And I thought, oh, cool, this is the end of the movie. Uh, and then it went on a little bit. <clears throat> oh, cool. You know, setting up for a sequel. This is great. And then they... Like have a, a short montage of getting buffed up, ready for the killer, and then they go get the killer. Yeah, it, there were too many climaxes there, where it was like at any one of those points could have been the ending. So by the time the actual ending came, I was like, the gore effect is really cool, but I'm not invested anymore in this. Right, <laughs> it just kind of stopped. It was just that was the end. It's like yep, that's the end. It's over. But yeah, it's like oh, last day of summer. Um, most of the effects of this movie were practical. Yeah, and they practical. were beautiful. There was one scene where the guy gets stabbed in the leg, mm -hmm. and there's a CGI blood spurt. Yeah. And it's like... It looked really bad. Yeah, that was the only spot, though. <laughs> and it stood out because it was right there. And it was the only time I noticed any CGI. I'm Me sure too. there was a yeah. little bit more. Oh, maybe, yeah. But it was the only one I noticed, and it was very, very noticeable. Yeah, as a whole, overall... I love this movie. Great... Damn job! I love All this movie of, I mean, so much. You guys, I, I, uh, I love it. Yeah, you I broke do. Rob. <laughs> no, I really do. It's a great job, man. I commend all of you. It's super important to us that you support indie horror. Yeah. Because today's indie horror is tomorrow's big name horror people, and this is how it starts. Yep. Go buy it. Oh, dude! Don't absolutely. rent it. Don't watch it on Amazon Prime. Go fucking buy the Blu-ray. It's so, beautiful. Look at, well, okay, fucking lights in the way. <laughs> it supports them, and it lets, first it lets them know that you want to see more of this type of movie. Right. And second, it gives them money so that they can make more of this type of movie. Absolutely. And the indie scene needs that. The yeah. indie scene needs you. Yes. It needs you, it needs us, it needs everybody. Speaking of things that you can support, <laughs> I, I just want to throw this out there. Carousel comes out on DVD this week. If uh, you don't already own the Blue Way. Uh, the 22nd. By the time this comes out, it'll be this week. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's a yeah. good point. Uh, ah, see, I had it all figured in my head. In I'm noggin. smarter than I look. <laughs> By the time this uh, episode comes out, Carousel should be just about available on DVD. Yeah. If you don't already own the Blu-ray, buy the DVD. Yep. If you do already own the Blu-ray, buy the DVD because they they need the help. Right. So Slaughter Drive, you pick up the Blu-ray at srscinemastore.com, uh, I believe. Pick that up. It's also on Amazon, the DVD now. That yep. you can pick up, which I think is only ten bucks on Amazon. Uh, last time I looked, but go for the blue. Yeah, uh, you know. Yeah, you might as well. But uh, yeah, maybe a little bit more. But it supports them a little bit more, and it's blue. I mean, you can, yeah, always want blue. And uh, Carousel, um, I, you, I believe you can buy from uh, SilverSpotlightFilms.com, something like that. Yeah. Look them up. Again, go buy these movies. Support them for sure. Yeah. Um, man, and, and you know, on that note, we're gonna shout out Ben Deedle. Yeah, good job. Ryan Linter, mm -hmm. good job. Blake O'Donnell, yeah, good job. And then SRS Cinema, Ron Bonk, go check out their side. They got a lot of good movies. Hey, and uh, Steve Rzinski too. Yeah, sure. Because he had a cameo. Support his movie. Yeah. Support I, any horror. I want to shout out Neon Brainiacs. Oh, damn because right. yeah, and you know I'm not just like talking shit. And I'm like, oh yeah, you need to watch this. Um, 
literally. It, it's one of the podcasts I subscribe to. Oh, it, yes. it really, really is. I'm not just you know fucking you're, saying that. The yeah. the genre podcast I've got that and Movie Crypt are the two main ones that I listen to. Yep, me too. And it's fucking fantastic. Go subscribe to them. Especially, you know, for Neon Brayas, if you're a huge 80s fan, they talk about 80s yeah, movies. Yeah, that's all they do is 80s horror movies. Yeah, it's great. Definitely check it out and listen yep. to support. So, uh, final rating on this thing. All right. You know what? I'm going to go first. Yeah, you go first, my friend. I, this is the first I've seen this movie. Yeah. Uh, which I can't believe it took me this fucking long, but I finally <laughs> got to it. Uh, I really loved it. There were some things that need work. But, you know, fuck it, whatever. Uh, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 8. No, this right. was a fantastic movie. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a 7.2 out of 8. Uh, you know, and again, same thing. A uh, couple of those nitpicks of those were gone. Yeah. That's solid 8 out of 8, man. That close. So, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Definitely. Go support these movies. Check them out. <laughs> Check out Neon Brainiacs. Yep. And uh, that's the that's our first movie First one of the year. Of the year. Yeah. yeah. Hey! Hey, where can you find us? Thanks for coming back! <laughs> if you want to uh, yell at us, uh, support or whatever, or recommend a movie for us to do. Oh, hell yes! Recommend a fucking movie on Facebook.com slash Stupid Movies. Instagram at Stupid Movies. You can bug me at The Horror Punk. You, mm, Don't uh, bug me. At Dr. Sketch Turn. You're never on there. <laughs> on that note, support any horror. Go watch these. We're out. Peace. Oh, you hit me in the balls with your ball. Why can't people understand? I got a short attention span. Short attention span. You stupid crap all the time. You know, like... <laughs> Sometimes we even have the camera on.